What is the primary difference between a foundation model and a traditional ML model? A. Foundation models are rule-based. B. Foundation models are pre-trained on large data sets for broad tasks. Or C. Traditional models support multimodal input. The correct answer is B. Foundation models are trained on massive, diverse data sets and can be used across many different use cases, unlike traditional models which are task-specific. Here's a good one. Which of the following best describes prompt tuning? A. Writing complex code for Gen AI models. B. Editing model weights to increase accuracy. Or C. Adjusting prompt structure to improve output. It's C. Prompt tuning is simply the act of refining your input prompt to guide the model's output. You don't change the model, just the way you ask. It's a lightweight but powerful method. What is context window in generative AI? Is it A, the size of image output, B, the UI window to write prompts, or C, the amount of text a model can consider in one go? The correct answer is C. The context window defines how much text a model can see and reason about at once. A larger context window means the model can understand longer prompts or conversations better. Try this next one. What type of data is most commonly used to train generative AI models? A. Unstructured. B. Numerical. Or C. Sensor. The right answer is A. Generative AI models are typically trained on unstructured data like text, images, audio, and video. This variety helps them learn patterns and generate realistic content. The concept check. Which of the following is not a generative model type? A. Diffusion models. B. LLMs. Or C. CNNs. It's C, CNNs, or Convolutional Neural Networks, are mostly used for image classification and detection tasks. They're not designed for generating new content like LLMs or diffusion models are. One more to think through. Which tool is ideal for non-coders to prototype Gen AI apps? A, Google AI Studio. B, Vertex AI SDK C, TensorFlow. The correct answer is A. Google AI Studio. Google AI Studio lets non-developers build and test Gen AI apps using intuitive interfaces and templates. Right, take a look at this. What is the purpose of Vertex AI Agent Builder? A, to generate SQL queries. B, to build secure AI agents using LLMs. C, to manage GCP billing. The correct answer is B, to build secure AI agents using LLMs. Vertex AI Agent Builder helps create domain-specific AI agents using LLMs with integrated tools for safe deployment. So with this one, which Google model is designed for generating high-quality images? A. Gemini B. Veo C. Imagen The correct answer is C. Imagen Imagen is a Google model specifically designed for text-to-image generation using diffusion techniques. In this set, Focus in. Notebook LM primarily helps with A. Running Jupyter Code B. Summarizing personal documents using AIC Monitoring AI pipelines The correct answer is B. Summarizing personal documents using AI RAG enhances LLM responses by pulling relevant external knowledge before generating an answer, reducing hallucinations. What distinguishes Gemma from Gemini? A. Gemma is for internal use, only B. Gemma is a lightweight model for local and edge devices. C. Gemma only runs on TPUs. The correct answer is B. Gemma is a lightweight model for local and edge devices, grounding ties model responses to real data sources, reducing hallucinations and improving factual accuracy. Coming up. Which tool provides enterprise-ready search powered by Gen AI? A. Notebook LM B, Gemini Nano C, Vertex AI Search. The correct answer is C, Vertex AI Search. Role prompting tells the model to behave a certain way, e.g. as a tutor or assistant, which influences tone and output structure. Moment with this one. What is the main purpose of RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation? A, to enhance training speed. B, to enable low latency responses. C. To ground model output in external knowledge. The correct answer is C. To ground model output in external knowledge. Temperature controls randomness. Higher values make outputs more creative. Lower values make them more deterministic. Important to understand. Which technique helps reduce hallucinations in model output? A. Reinforcement learning. B. Grounding. C. Chain of thought prompting. The correct answer is B. 
Grounding. Responsible AI prioritizes fairness, transparency, and ethical use. Critical for building trust and safety in Gen AI systems. One down. Role prompting helps by A. Providing memory to LLMs. B. Guiding the model's tone and persona. C. Translating data into code. The correct answer is B. Guiding the model's tone and persona. Google's Secure AI Framework, SAIF, ensures secure AI development through policies, tooling, and threat protection practices. Carefully. What does temperature control in prompt output? A. Length of output. B. Output speed. C. Randomness and creativity. The correct answer is C. Randomness and creativity. Customer service departments benefit most from AI agents by automating repetitive queries, reducing workload, and improving response times. A shot. What's a core principle of responsible AI in Gen AI use? A. Speed of generation. B. Generating viral content. C. Fairness and transparency. The correct answer is C. Fairness and transparency. Gemma is optimized for running on device or edge, unlike Gemini, which is a large cloud-based model. Next up, what does Google's SAFE framework aim to ensure? A. Data warehouse optimization. B. Secure AI development lifecycle. C. Low cloud billing. The correct answer is B. Secure AI development lifecycle. Vertex AI search brings generative power to enterprise search, letting companies build smarter internal search tools. Up with this final question. Which department benefits most from AI-generated support agents? A. Finance B. Marketing. C. Customer service. The correct answer is C. Customer service. Notebook LM helps users turn personal notes or documents into interactive summaries using AI, aiding productivity, 